Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I hope. But, long story short, I'm in desperate need of some match grade level rounds for 300 Win Mag for a video coming up real soon. 300 Win Mag match grade stuff. I got uh, some deer hunting stuff a little bit, but not much. Need some match grade stuff. I know all you guys are always messaging me, where's the ammo? And, and when I say where's the ammo, y'all say, oh, I'll just buy that stuff online. Um, that's fine if you, if you can wait, you know, a couple weeks, but nobody is shipping ammo like next day or even within a week. I've tried. Um, but I just drove to the next town, uh, the next big town from me, which is Murfreesboro, Tennessee. That's where I'm from. Used to live there. Now it's a big town with way too much traffic. Uh, but sometimes we still go there, um, uh, when we need things because they got things cause it's a big city. But that's where I'm at now. I'm gonna check three stores and cross your fingers they have some match grade 300 Win Mag stuff. I'm kind of doubtful. Um, I haven't come into town for ammo for a long, long time because it's been pointless because everything's been gone. Uh, but right here, I just rolled up to the Outpost Armory in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. They used to have a selection of everything, literally. If, if you had a gun, they sold bullets for it. It's a big store um, owned by the Barretts. This is where they make Barrett rifles here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Uh, but they used to have everything. Last time I was in here a couple months ago, they had nothing. Because all y'all crazy jokers bought everything that you don't even need. Uh, but I need it for the, to making these videos, y'all. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to run in here, show you guys if they got anything. Um, and then two other stores. But hopefully we're going to find some stuff. Um, but yeah, we need that match grade 300 wind mag bullets for some videos so we can show you guys some awesome 300 wind mag videos, but check it out. Let's run in here quick and see if we see anything. I don't know. I think this is probably our best chance, but we're about to find out. All right. So that was a complete bust for the 300 wind mag that didn't have a drop of 300 wind mag in there. Uh, let me show you real quick what they did have. So that was literally one aisle. That entire store used to have 10 aisles just like that, completely full. Um, anything you could ever want. And now they got just a couple odds and ends things. Like there was 17 Mach 2, uh, 338 Lapua Match. Um, they had a couple, a decent selection of 308 in there. Um, no pistol ammo, no 45 or 10 millimeter or 9 millimeter. Um, and they had a pallet of 223,000 round cases of Wolf and 762 by 39. They had two pallets of. But uh, no 300 Win Mag. Um, but I did buy something. I forgot that I needed this stuff, but see what I bought. And you guys tell me if I got a good deal. I think I got ripped, but maybe it's a decent price, but I had to have it for the videos and for some hunting. Check this out, what I actually bought here. So we're about to do some turkey hunting and I completely forgot about that. So I got some turkey ammo. I don't know if this is good or not, but it's got the picture of a turkey on it. So I figured it was good for turkeys. Uh, 12 gauge and this is three and a half inch shells. Uh, two and a half ounce, seven to nine shot, uh, heavyweight TSS. And here's what I paid for it. $60, boys. Woo, son. I don't know about you, but I have never paid $12 for one shotgun shell. My goodness, this better smoke me like the world record to turkey or something, boys. Woo, $60 for five shells there, but man. Anyway, uh, stay tuned for some turkey hunting videos and let me know uh, what kind of videos you guys want to see with this turkey stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's a $12 bill right there, old son. But anyways, we're on a mission for some 300 Win Mag. I got two more places to check. And I got to get some groceries for Mama today. Y'all don't let me forget about that. But um, yeah, on to stop number two. All right. This next place is Sportsman's Warehouse. So that first place, Outpost Armory, it's outside of town. And it's a little bit further for people to go. So I thought I had a better chance of finding that 300 Win Mag there. 
the sportsman's warehouse that's smack dab in the middle of town close to all these shopping stores so it's easier for people to pop in here so i don't have my hopes up here for this store but we got to check anyways and just to let y'all know this is how dedicated i am i've been fighting all this traffic all these cars man there's cars everywhere got my anxiety up Woo! i like being out in the middle of nowhere and i don't have to deal with traffic but hey i'm just gonna keep it cool keep it cool I, I was having to drive 20 mile an hour on interstate that's how bad i need some ammo i came to town and drove through sunday afternoon traffic but uh let's go check sportsman's warehouse see if they got some good 300 wind mag for us to make some videos Empty. We got some random stuff that nobody shoots. Got plenty of this. Don't need any though. Don't have one of those yet. Don't have any of that yet either. I need one of those. Don't have one of those either. All right, y'all are killing me with all this ammo buying. Y'all just saw all they had was some random stuff: six millimeter, 375 H and H, and some kind of 416 Bing Bang Wing Wang. None of the 300 Wind Mag that I need. But uh, that was a bust, just like I said. But why y'all buying all up, buying up all that deer hunting ammo, man? But you know I need it for these YouTube videos. <laughs> but we got one more stop, and it's literally across the street over here. I'm not very optimistic. This place has an indoor range, and I don't know that they even stock uh, rifle ammo. But that's the last place I got to check here in town. Let's see if they got anything. All right, so last place. This place is called On Target. I have only been in here one time that I remember. Um... I don't go here one because I don't go into town because uh, there's people in traffic everywhere ah! and uh, two because it's an indoor range and I try to stay away from indoor ranges if at all possible um, yeah I just don't like being around a bunch of people I don't know shooting guns so I'd rather be out in the middle of nowhere flinging them bing bangs uh, but let's run in here and see if they got some rifle ammo I really have no idea I'll show you that here. This is what that place is called. On Target Shooting Sports. All right, so I found some ammo. It's not the ideal stuff that I wanted in 300 Win Mag, but it's 300 Win Mag ammo. And also got some 10 millimeter ammo. I just got a new Springfield XDM 10 millimeter for my everyday carry and I needed more ammo for it. So let me show you what I got here. I'm pretty excited that I found this stuff. All right, so I found this 165 grain Federal. I was looking for a heavier bullet, 180 to 200 grain, but this is what they had. I paid uh, pretty good money for it too, you can see there. And I got one, two, three, four boxes of it. And then I also needed some of that 10 millimeter, um, but yeah. I paid pretty good money for that too. That's actually not too bad uh, for that. I have no idea if that's a terrible price on that. I've never bought this federal stuff, but I spent some money today. Uh, but <laughs> appreciate y'all big time. I'm gonna throw this turkey ammo in that same box there, so I don't forget that that's in the back of my truck. But appreciate y'all. Comment down below any video ideas you want to see with this stuff. Uh, we'll see y'all in the next one. Hoo-hoo!